Good day, I'm Gareth Wilders, you with Spain Homes, and today we're in uh, Petrer, just 25 minutes northwest of Alicante, uh, in a beautiful little town that uh, dates back to the 12th century with its own Moorish castle. And today we're going to be looking at this property that sits on a 20,000 square meter plot. 6,000 square meters of those have been developed with this amazing garden and home. Uh, the real gem is the 700 square meter villa behind us. It's got five bedrooms, five bathrooms, its own wine cellar in the basement, uh, basement parking for five cars, uh, additional parking outside for another 15, um, several entertainment areas. Um, sure, there's so much more, um, but don't take my word for it. Let's take a look. This will be the main guest entrance with uh, guest parking here. The owner's parking would be downstairs in the basement. So let's take a look around. This would be the main pedestrian entrance. A carport here. Lots of bamboo here to keep some privacy, which really kind of keeps you far away from the street. We've got the uh, pedestrian entrance there. Beautiful cactus garden. And this would be your front door with water features. And uh, we've even got a little waterfall that cascades down to the basement. Let's take a walk around the perimeter of the house. All right, this is just the beginning of a fully landscaped garden that's uh, actually supplied with its own borehole with drinkable water. So essentially, uh, an oasis like this um, is going to cost you nothing to keep irrigated in a Spanish summer, which is perfect. And uh, as I said, you can actually drink the water too. So there is zero, there's zero water bill for this home. And it's fantastic. You can keep all of this green and alive. It's got real lawn, um, none of the fake stuff here. The owners really have, uh, haven't cut any corners at all. As you can see, lots of green. On the left hand side here, the home actually has its own 100 square meter gym. With views overlooking the garden and the valley below. The gym itself, with glass paneling around, fully fitted air conditioning, climate control, machines, incredible views. What more could you ask for when you're working out? So. You could really get lost in this garden. It's not small at all. You'll see as we go through, lots and lots of natural local plants, as well as some exotic ones. Uh, this garden is actually maintained on a daily basis, and that's how you keep it looking so good. Guys, welcome. Come inside. This is the lobby area. On the left-hand side, we've got the living space. With two bedrooms, a guest bedroom with a bathroom. We've got a closet here with a bathroom inside. And on the right, straight ahead of us there, we've got the master bedroom with ensuite bathroom and walk-in closet, more than spacious. On the right hand side here, we walk into the living room area. Lots and lots of glass, beautiful natural light coming in. As you can see, we've got skylights around the entirety of the, boom, of the building and the room. The floors are all marble. You may think that these are carpets, but these are actually tiled carpets. So these are all built in. Um, really top quality finishings here. You can see the furniture, most of which will be staying throughout for the sale. 
We've got a fireplace on the right hand side here. That's Thassos snow white Greek marble with a wood fireplace. And you can have these amazing views straight out into the garden. You get, there's almost no walls in this home. Um, literally everything is double glazed glass, giving you views out to the valley below and the continuation of nature straight into the home. To keep the sun out, keep you nice and cool, there's blinds on the inside and outside. But the house is also, of course, fully air conditioned, climate control throughout the home, keeping you fresh in, in summer, keeping you nice and warm in the winter. All right, let's take a look at the first two bedrooms on the left of the entrance lobby. You can see there's a beautiful living room area here that caters to the two guest bedrooms and, and bathroom. On the left, you've got the first guest bedroom. Views looking out onto the garden. Double bedroom here with television, desk and cupboard space. Of course, fully air conditioned, climate control. And that leads us into our living room. Again, plenty of space for storage and seating. On the left hand side, we've got the second bedroom. Beautiful light fittings, space for two, and again, a lovely space there for makeup desk or TV. And on the right hand side, we've got the guest bathroom with shower and toilet. Let's take a look at the master bedroom through here, where the marble floor flows into a natural wooden floor. On the left hand side, we've got the beginning of our walk-in closet, but you'd be mistaken to think this was the end of it. Follow me. This is the rest of the walk-in closet. You should never be short of space here. So, again, you'll notice Almost every room has glass panelled walls, which really blends nature and the interior, bringing it all into one. Coming through to our master bathroom, with a toilet on this side, a shower on this side, also with a rain function, if that's what you're into. And we've got a bath here with uh, thermojets, so essentially you've got your own uh, jacuzzi in type. And let's take a look at the bedroom. Here we are. Beautiful light coming through. Those windows, you've got views of your own private patio. Not to mention the garden and the Sierra del Cid mountains behind. Beautiful customized walls and lighting coming through. This living room area is 90 square meters and leads us this way on the left through to the kitchen and um, cleaning up area. On the left, I'll take you through this in a moment. Uh, we've got a little seating area here. We've got stairs and a lift that take you down into the basement area and an entertainment area that I'll show you shortly. Let's take a look at the kitchen. Everything is top quality wood paneling, as you can see. Um, kitchen, fully furnished with amazing appliances. We've got a Miele ceramic top stove. We've got Gaganau oven. The pantry on the side here. And a beautiful stone top. The views look out onto the water features uh, with a waterfall that actually flows down to the basement area. On the left here, we've got laundry area, washer, dryer, ironing. And outside, a place to keep it all, get it all dry.
All right, beautiful island here. Plenty of space for all of your appliances. Um, we've got our cutters here, space for your jamón, and plenty and plenty of kitchen space, cupboard area, prepping, cleaning. Let's take a look at the entertainment area. Well, first of all, you've got the stairs and a lift that take you down into the basement level. That's where we have a wine cellar, as well as a si uh, five-car garage. And come through here. Welcome to the entertainment area. We've got a 20-seater table sitting inside a 65-square-meter room with its own private bar, television, sound system, and views overlooking the valley below, Elda and Sachs. Plenty of space for guests, and this has to be one of the highlights of the home. You've got your fridges, um, industrial fridges, plenty of space, beautiful countertops, and perfect place to host a party, all three. All right, let me take you for a little tour of what the basement has to offer. First of all, we've got our garage. More than enough space for your cars. We've also got industrial fridges and freezers here. And on that side, plenty of storage across the entirety of the wall. And let's go into what has to be the gem of the basement. The wine cellar. So coming in here, we do have a small kitchenette on the left. Coming, taking a look here. That's the waterfall that we saw from the kitchen on the right hand side, which leads us to the, the basement wine cellar with space for over 3,000 bottles. It's climate controlled, humidity controlled. So not only will it keep your wine fresh, but your cigars whatever else you fancy too. Let's take a look at the outdoor seating area. This space is just another one of the amazing entertainment areas that this house boasts. On the right here, we've got a 150 square meter porch with outdoor seating. Great place to come and have your morning breakfast or your afternoon drinks. We've got a beautiful fireplace over there, wood fireplace surrounded by plants and nature you really feel like you're fused between the two at any given moment on this property in front of us we've got a 15 by 5 meter infinity pool which is heated on the left of that we've got a <laughs> pergola uh, some sunbeds and just another beautiful space to come and enjoy the views that we have to offer here this has to be one of the most unique, tasteful and luxurious homes that we've looked at in a while. Um, the owners really have taken really good care of this home. Um, in August, it'll be turning 13 years old, but uh, if you asked me, I would have thought it was built just a couple of years ago. So uh, let's talk some of the finer details, um, costs. So property tax or EB, as we call it in Spain, will be roughly about 2,000 euros a year. There's obviously no community fees because you have your own private villa. There will of course be water and electricity bills, but as I mentioned, uh, with its own private borehole, which has drinking water, um, there's actually nothing to pay on the water side of things. And the electricity, although this home is fully um, automatic, your windows, your blinds, um, it is all offset by the fact that the home has up to 40 solar panels. So you're paying on average in winter about 200 euros a month for electricity. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And if you want any more details, don't forget to visit our website where we can uh, offer you a tour of the home and help you with anything that you need with the purchasing process. Bank accounts, documentation, paperwork, we're here to help. So, until next time, 
This is uh, Spain Homes. I'm Gareth, and adios. <laughs>